A 10 on your side investigation revealed new concerns about vegetation management by PG&E. And tonight the company is talking only to ABC 10 about the controversy. There is a process for customers who if you have any concern about the vegetation management work that was done on your property. Paul Moreno with PG&E speaking out after Justin Chrysler sent 10 on your side these pictures saying I'm reaching out to see if you want to cover PG&E contractors coming out for jobs then leaving the jobs unfinished with wood, debris and trash on properties next to power poles to fuel future fires. Tree work left everywhere and just an absolute mess. Many customers want this wood. They use this wood for firewood. But it turns out Mr. Chrysler is not alone. Mary says these clowns cut four or five trees on my property and left the mess everywhere. Their ignorant workers cut through my deer fence that I had to pay to get repaired because they were too lazy to walk 50 feet. Terry from El Dorado County says for no less than seven consecutive years, various vegetation management subcontracting under PG&E use PG&E shade easement rights to enter my property and leave more downed wildfire fuel than was present prior to their visit. If there's ever an issue that a customer has, if, um, you know, the job, you know, was left messy behind and, and they have concerns, we do encourage them to call us. The challenge though, Paul, is that this gentleman claimed he had been reaching out and that he wasn't really getting it. Well, we do strive to make ourselves available for customers so they can be in touch with us. And certainly if we're not if that's not happening in, in the situation, you know, we certainly want to know about it. Moreno says wood greater than four inches in diameter could potentially have marketable value. So the PG&E policy is to leave it on the customer's property. Well, it's important to remember that the wood that is left behind does belong to the property owner. But we understand there are certain cases where maybe that wood was put in a position that is too close to the home or causing some sort of a blockage. PG&E confirms after 10 on your side got involved, they reached out to Mr. Chrysler and he filled out a wood management form that will allow PG&E to return to his property to pack up the wood and remove it for him. Every case is different and each case is handled on, on its own merits. And ABC 10 is here to help. Do you have a problem and don't know where else to turn? Email me at onyourside at abc10.com.